Carol here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It's good to be back. Um, you'll probably be seeing this change up like every video, seriously. But uh, let's get straight into the empty products that I've finished that I would repurchase, but I would definitely recommend. The first things I have here I repurchase all the time and they come with 50 and they're basically cotton ovals. One side has like the softer side and then the other side has the quilted side where um, that's better if you're trying to like remove makeup or something like that and then the soft side is nice if you're like removing nail polish or something but um, I'm in love with these things. I love them to remove my nail polish. I only need like one to do both hands and one to do both feet. <laughs> hubby call or hubby Texan. Here I have this sample of the Mary Kay Intense Moisturizing Cream. And I really enjoyed this. It lasted a good while. It was great for winter time. Um, it says it's supposed to leave us hydrated for up to 10 hours and it is meant for dry skin. Um, I've had pretty good luck with most Mary Kay products off the top of my head that I can think of. So um, skincare is definitely something that they're good at. So yeah, I did enjoy that. I used up a Tom's Unscented Beauty Bar. It's 100% natural. It doesn't have any parabens, phthalates, or animal ingredients. So um, if you've been following me for a while, y'all know that I am susceptible to getting skin irritations if I'm using a product that isn't designed for sensitive skin or it isn't natural, um, it has some type of chemicals in there that just don't agree with my skin. I've always had sensitive skin um, and I was getting like this little, it looked like a psoriasis um, irritation thing because my husband has that so I'm able to recognize that and it itched and I, you know, whenever I would use a product like a body wash or something like that or a deodorant or whatever it is, um, that isn't natural or isn't made for sensitive skin, I would get this like itchy. Now I just always use natural body washes, deodorant, um, and then I got this beauty bar, well it's not even a beauty bar, but I got the bar basically to use specifically for the underarm area. And within, I don't know, like I mean seriously immediately I started seeing that little thing go away and um, it wasn't itching anymore. So. You can try that. I got the idea from my friend Valerie a long time ago. She used like the Cetaphil bar um, just for her underarm area. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. So especially with the whole, um, you know, the, the studies that have um, linked, you know, using certain deodorants and things like that. Because they say we shave our arms and then we immediately put product on them. And that that's really bad for us. And that has been linked to breast cancer and things like that. So just in case you didn't know that. All right, next I have, um, this is called Derma Rest, and it's a shampoo, but it has conditioner in it, and it's designed for psoriasis or, slash and, um, dandruff. So uh, we, my husband got this one time, and I've been able to find it at, at grocery stores, I've been able to find it at the drugstore, so it's pretty readily available. And I used this one day when I ran out of like shampoo or conditioner, I don't even remember what it was, but I was really impressed because you know how usually when you combine shampoo and conditioners, you don't get enough conditioning qualities in the product. So this actually works um, with that. Almay's Moisturizing Eye Makeup Remover Liquid. This is not the oil-free one. I like the one that that isn't oil-free because my eyes are prone to dryness. Um, I'm 30, so over the years my eyes have gotten more and more dry and stuff like that. So I like things that have oil in them to remove anything around my eye just to keep it, just to have the stuff be removed immediately and you know, the moisture helps, the oils and things like that help my eye area. This has aloe, cucumber, and green tea and it is 100% fragrance free and hypoallergenic. Then I also get the pads, I love the pads, these are really easy, they're just little circular moistened pads um, and they're for long wear and waterproof eye makeup comes with 80 pads. I think this is like $4 and some change. They also make that in two different formulas, the oil-free and then the regular, you know, with the oils and stuff like that. So Estee Lauder's Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Aging Cream. This stuff's fantastic. It has like a clean white tea scent, um, white floral maybe. If you have dry skin, then, I mean, this is how much I love this stuff, that it just works so well for my skin and all the customers I recommended it to. It, it has this whipped souffle texture and it feels so nice on the skin. It makes your skin feel like a baby's butt. All the customers that tried it, young to older, much older, um, loved it. And I remember a friend of mine, 
she had a really big issue going on with her skin. It was so dry, it was peeling, like her foundation wasn't looking good anymore. And so um, I was like, let's try this stuff on you because it's amazing. And she loved it so much that the next day she was asking me again about it. And she was like, tell me the name of that you know, moisturizing cream again because I need to go get it because I can still feel the results of that application from yesterday. So they range, um, they start at $50 for a one ounce and $75 for a 1.7 ounce. This is Revlon Colorstays Liquid 24 Hour Foundation. And it does have, um, this is the normal dry skin formula, by the way. I prefer this formula over like the oil free, whatever it is. As an SPF 15, mine's in the shade 150 buff, but this is too white for me. Um, and it has a pink undertone, so that's why I didn't repurchase it, but I absolutely love the formula of it. But the pink undertone, it, that just was a nuisance because I had to mix it with a yellow based foundation, which was my It Cosmetics CC cream. Together they were great. Um, because this really gave me that long wear formula of it, but you know, the pink undertone just bothered me. And I can't, I couldn't find a foundation from them that didn't have a pink undertone, at least in the liquid foundation formula. So I do need to get this again. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the shade Pure. I've talked a lot about this lip liner. It's just like a hot coral color. It, it has like that perfect mixture of pink and orange in it. And I used the heck out of this. I've you've gone through two of these already. Um, this was like used all the time for a nice bright coral lip. And then a mascara here that I have that I'm really sad I didn't get to use as long as I could have because my son got into my makeup bag, which he loves, which is from Mally. I won a giveaway of theirs several months ago. And um, he loves getting into that makeup bag and getting my stuff. And he always went for this mascara, her Get the Last Lash Maximizing Mascara. It came with like the regular side and then um, and then the little tiny one for the bottom lashes, which was perfect to keep in my makeup bag. He got a hold of this and was playing with it and I was like, hell to the no, I'm not gonna use this. Who knows what the heck is on it now? So, but I enjoyed it and um, I did give away an extra set because I won two sets. So I gave away one set and um, Holly, who was the girl that won, really liked the mascara too. Now this is by Desert Essence. This is their coconut hand and body lotion. But it's 100% vegan, wheat and gluten free. It doesn't have any parabens, phthalates, I mean nothing, it has nothing you need to worry about. And oh, it smells so good. Um, I don't know where you can buy Desert Essence. I'm thinking maybe, I'll leave the link below to that like health online store, something that people always order from, like they order food and like natural skincare and stuff like that. This was a gift from one of my friends. Um, she always likes to remain nameless, but you know who you are and I really enjoyed this. And she knows me so well because I love coconut, I love vanilla, and this was a complete joy to lather myself up with, whether it was my body or my hands, because every time I shower, it's the first thing I do is I moisturize my face and my body. So, since, you know, the Wickless Candle Company, my friend Haley sells it, and this is the scent of Pima Cotton for the little wax things. I love this scent, it's one of my favorites because it smells like fresh, clean um, sheets, like when you, oh, like clean laundry, like when you wash laundry. And this one, and I forgot the name, uh, Clean Breeze was the other one that I really like, but this is a little softer version of it, but I love that, I love that clean white linen smell. I've got a toner here by Neutrogena. It's their alcohol-free toner. I loved it. Um, I've gotten this a couple of times. I've used it a few times and it's really gentle. Um, you get that feeling, like it doesn't have alcohol in it, but you still get that kind of tinging in it, but it doesn't bother me. Um, but I, this is what I reach for when I do have pimples um, and I want that type of a toner uh, to kind of suck out the whatever is in the pimples. Sorry to gross you out, but yeah, that's great. It's really affordable. And then I went through a couple of these Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, the one ounce formulas. These start at 62, they're hella expensive, but I definitely saw results when I was using this. My skin looked more youthful. It just looked more plump because it's loaded with hyaluronic acid. And um, I no longer have it and I can't afford to go get it right now. It's like I said, they start at 62 for this and they go up to 92 for the 1.7 ounce. This is Purpose, I've talked about it before, I've bought it so many times for so many years. It's a gentle cleansing wash. I use it all over my eyes. Um, it's soap free, high collagen, and it doesn't clog pores. It's great for me and my husband because he also has sensitive skin and it's just great to remove any little residue there, you know, of your makeup. Okay, a couple items left and we're done. All right, Tree Hut Shea Moisturizing Shower Wash in the Coconut Lime, it's an organic shea butter. Oh my god, I just love all the beach, you know, scents and stuff like that, coconut, um, anything that just smells like a piña colada or tropical, I love those scents, but 
Loved it, smelled great. I felt like I was at the beach every time I washed my body and it didn't irritate me at all. I got no psoriasis, weird irritations anywhere. So anywho, that is it for my empty products that I would recommend for now. I did want to announce the winner of the Whitney Dobson Designs Jewelry. This is from her, by the way, which um, she's so sweet. She ended up gifting me one of these little, I was ordering two necklaces. She ended up gifting me this necklace, the X, uh, letter because that's my son's name, Xander, and um, and you know, just for you know helping her out or whatever with the video and I was so excited, that's so sweet. It wasn't expected, that, that was a total surprise. So I just want to thank Whitney again if you are watching. And um, I do have the winner for the giveaway for this, the $50 credit giveaway that we did. Are you ready? All right, the winner is Shades of Steph. Yeah, so um, definitely have plenty more giveaways coming in the future. Congratulations, Stephanie. I will contact you now that I've officially announced it. Um, but thank you for everyone who entered. I was really excited to see everyone enjoying the jewelry as much as me for Whitney and um, you know ordering with that 10% coupon code that she gave us. But uh, definitely we'll have more different types of giveaways in the future. I love getting the opportunity to give back to all of you guys watching out there and you know, you know, being able to see your um, excitement, you know, for receiving a special something in the mail. So anyways, thanks for hanging out, you guys, and we'll see each other in the next video. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, loves. So make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. I'll let you all go. Have an awesome week, and that's it. Bye.